I love mornings, but I'm really wild in the morning. Like I don't want anybody to talk to me. <laughs> I just wake up and have my morning routine that is like super important to me and it's gonna put me in my days in a very like smooth and kind way. <laughs> So the first thing I do when I wake up is like to go clean my teeth and my face. I love to feel really fresh. I will use a very gentle milk and I'm gonna use a cotton pad to clean my face. Then I'm using a lotion to remove this. Then I have my favorite cream, the Wake Up Balm from S. Lauder because it has, well first it's like, it makes my feel, I feel like bouncing, I don't know how to say, like it's so smooth and more flexible and nourished and moisturized and also it has this little bit of a pearl effect so it makes you like glow right away so I really love this one. Then I can like go pick up my clothes before I do my makeup because you know the clothes you're gonna wear, the makeup you're gonna wear is gonna make you feel something, it's not just superficial. The way you're gonna dress and what you're gonna wear for makeup is gonna have such a strong impact. What's my personal style? I guess effortless is important to me. I like what I call a touch of vavavoom, like you know, that makes you feel great. But I don't like when it's trying too hard. For me, beauty is, is not here to change who you are. It's here to support who you are and celebrate who you are and your femininity. I feel like it's just about how you feel. And if you use makeup as a tool, it's a celebration of yourself and it should be. It makes you feel so good that you're taking some time for yourself, even if it's five minutes. So my boyfriend and I hesitated a little bit about having our office and our studio in our house. But because I'm always on the road with my job, I actually thought, you know what, if I can avoid myself to go anywhere, then that's good. So I store everything under my shelves of all the makeup that I may use for my tutorials, but also for my shoots. Up there is more my pigments because I collect pigments. I had to ship everything from Paris to New York. So this is like legit all my artistic creative bubble since years. So when I was a kid, I was always saying, I'm gonna live in New York because I was watching Friends TV show and I wanted this life. <laughs> I love Brooklyn more than Manhattan because it's a bit more quiet and it makes me think of Paris a bit more. Manhattan is so intense that I live there for seven days and I moved to Brooklyn right away. I just love the energy, the diversity, how people are more open than in my country. It's very refreshing and it's very inspiring. So my role with Estee Lauder is quite fun because I get to do many different things from going on set with Estee Lauder models that became family to me now. So my mission is really to help women to connect to the brand, to connect to the spirit of Estee Lauder, her philosophy, and take them in our adventures. So for my next collection, who's coming out, I was filming in the lab, I was asking people like, what do you think of this, what do you prefer? And for me, that's very important that we all feel part of this collaboration. My stepdad is Moroccan and we used to have Shabbat dinners where we have all the maids on the table and everybody's sharing and it's such a moment of joy. I really kept this in my routine because now I cook every night almost and I cannot make just one starter and like one main course. I'm just gonna make lots of different things so you can pick from it and share. I love to have definitely our friends coming over for dinner. Our door is always open. Cooking for me is also really a way to stop the day, taking care of my personal life. It's very grounding. I'm definitely not, I guess, a cool girl. I'm much more like a grandma where I want to read a book, listen to classical music even. Like those moments at home where I get to rest and really enjoy uh, simplicity is a luxury. So when I come back home, one of the first thing I'm gonna do is really to clean my face. So I massage my face with some milk remover to dissolve all of the makeup and for a little bit, for a few minutes. 
and then I'm gonna rinse off a lot. Then I have the same tonic I use in the morning for my skin that's gonna exfoliate a little bit. Then I'm gonna have Advanced Night Repair Serum for sure. That's really gonna make my skin like really young and healthy and it's gonna give me this supplement of goodness that I need because I'm always traveling and that's really helpful. And then I have like a cream that is quite rich. So all night I feel like it's gonna moisturize my skin. That comes from my philosophy of using makeup as a way to celebrate yourself and I'm really trying to share this with women to say that you shouldn't change how you look like, you shouldn't embrace who you are and how you look like because you are fabulous no matter what.